Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be focusing on the pattern with Arbalest Mark II Level 12. So everything is maxed out. What you're about to see in this video is the max damage that you can do with the Arbalest on the live server. So yeah, I decided to run it on a pattern. Um, I guess another build that you could actually run this on is actually a Jesse, but you can only fire two and then you have to switch and then fire the other two. Um, but I did run a couple of games with this. I wasn't really too impressed with the Arbalest, uh, to be honest. Um, you know, I guess the other setup that you could run is a pattern with Geckos. Uh, that would be a pretty good comparison, uh, depending on what you want to uh, run. Uh, Arbalest has a range of 1100 meters, uh, same as Gecko, same as the Trebuchet. Uh, this is essentially a light version of the Trebuchet. Uh, once you fire, I believe it's about 10 seconds uh, before uh, you are fully charged up so I think I fired at about 8.58 there so maybe about like 48 is about when it should be charged up so it's about there so it's about I would say about 10-11 seconds around there to fully charge up um, and do that max damage so you have to make sure that you actually keep your distance so obviously this is not a brawling weapon um, so I was just trying to get in uh, some clean shots and uh, kind of do as much damage as I possibly could um, would I run it on a pattern? Most likely not. Um, I think in terms of you know how I would actually run this uh, weapon is to run it with a Natasha uh, with trebuchets. Um, the reason why I say that is because the Natasha, whenever you use a trebuchet, it's more of a sniper build. Um, sniper build being you know your window of opportunity. You may not have a lot of time in order to do that damage. Um, the player might be heading to cover, and you need to get that instant damage quickly. Uh, in that case, you know, the gecko doesn't really work that well because you're obviously focusing them down. It takes a couple of seconds uh, to, you know, dish out that max damage. But with something like a trebuchet, it's like instant damage. And uh, if you're running um, an Natasha with a trebuchet and obelisk, you will get that instant damage. So I think it's a good option, especially for someone who doesn't have, say, a Fury, um, you know, Fury trebuchet or even, um, I guess, a Butch trebuchet. If you have a Natasha, I think um, the trebuchet with obelisk might be a very good um, option. Uh, would I personally get you know four of these? I think only for video purposes. It's not something that I would run uh, in my main hangar. Uh, so do I think it's worth it? I, I, I don't think so. I don't think I would actually run this. It doesn't really do a lot of damage for me. I tend to run high damage uh, dealing weapons and this is definitely not one of them. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion on this. So uh, who knows maybe in the future it doesn't mean um, that this weapons, you know Totally garbage and it's not something that players should use because as you know in this game a lot of stuff over time is buffed and nerfed uh, You take a look at say punishes for example even hydras for that matter You know over time it got so many buffs to the point where a lot of players are now using it and it's actually doing a lot of damage So yep, if you have the obelisk, you know save it up um, but I don't think I would max out four. I think maybe two if you plan on running an Natasha with that uh, trip, um, you know, setup. But uh, here you can see I was actually fired, or actually fired my max round at that player. And then while they were trying to head to cover, I was focusing them down just, you know, a couple of rounds, made sure that I took them out. You can see here I did the same thing. And I'm just falling off. Uh, I think that's what happened. I fell off uh, the edge here because I was just trying to uh, get a shot in. And uh, that's kind of what I was doing for uh, most of the time that I was actually running uh, this build. So I think the other question that you guys are probably going to ask me is, would I run um, a pattern with four obelisks or four geckos? Um, I think for me personally, I actually prefer the geckos. It, it seems to do a lot more damage. Um, you know, even when I compare it just to my regular level 12, uh, that's not even uh, considering like level 12 uh, Mark II, uh, which would be the max level. I think the Gecko is a better option. But if you want that, like I said, if you want that instant damage, you know, that sniper uh, damage, then I think Obelisk is actually a better route to go. But uh, yeah, as for the rest of the game, um, you know, I just tried to do as much damage uh, with this build. Um, I got hit pretty bad there. And that's pretty much kind of what I did. And then after this, I believe I spawned in with my uh, Spectre with Hawkins. But uh, for now, let's just take a look to see if I can hit any targets here. Now, of course, this is just all uh, post commentary because uh, what actually ended up happening was I kind of ran a couple of games. Um, the one game that I ran 
and I was in this bot for most of the game. I was actually firing at a lot of shields, I think like Bokazaris and Lancelots. I only actually ended up scoring, I think it was like 200,000 uh, by the end of the game, which <laughs> is a very poor performance uh, considering that, you know, everything is marked to level 12, the max level that you can possibly get uh, for this uh, build. But uh, yeah, that's when I was like, okay, maybe, you know, should I do a video on this? And I just, I, I kind of decided to do a video because I know there are players out there that may be interested in this weapon. It is a component weapon, um, but, you know, I've said this in the past, just because it's a component weapon doesn't mean that it's the best weapon out there. Um, I think for me personally, I actually rather run, like I said, the Gecko. And here you can see I'm hitting that player back there who is an Inquisitor. Um, I got him just before he got into stealth, made sure that I charged up and then I was able to hit him again. So I think that's a decent amount of damage and you can see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to just hit him every second or so to wither him down and he actually took quite a bit of uh, damage. So I think if you catch a player when they're out in the open, then this might be a pretty good option. And obviously this kind of weapon tends to work better on I would say um, you know team deathmatch and domination mode because typically those game modes players tend to hang back more there's a lot more camping involved uh, so this weapon I would say might work a little bit better for those game modes for beacon rush I would definitely not run this um, same with uh, king of the hill as well see I'm just trying to <laughs> do as much damage I'm just kind of rotating I don't know if you noticed that but I was kind of moving behind cover going up uh, you know the side of uh, this uh, ship wreckage or whatever you want to call it and then falling back down and kind of rotating and I'm trying to get a little bit more aggressive here uh, because obviously I'm getting ready to transition out of this bot um, the whole point of you know this video was obviously to focus on the pattern with uh, the obelisk and that's what I wanted to try to uh, show you guys just so that you can see the amount of damage potential that uh, you know these max level weapons can do so yeah once I got taken out here then I hopped into my spectre with uh, Orkins and as you can see I am running on uh, the battle wreck account so this is not my account just as a disclaimer I usually put it uh, I try to remember to put it I should say in my video description but yeah this is not my my own account I just wanted to show you guys uh, the obelisk at uh, mark 2 level 12 so that uh, if you were planning on getting it and you know maxing it out you know if I can save you resources then I would try my best to do that and this is one of those where you definitely want to save your resources and rather use it towards something like an ember or even like a bulk or inquisitor so here you can see what I'm doing is I'm watching very carefully this player that was up top in a carnage Zeus and I was waiting for the right time to strike with my uh, spectre there and <laughs> he just felt that that player just fell down the carnage but uh, yeah that's pretty much what I you know wanted to do there I was tracking that player I could see that they were getting towards the edge uh, when I'm playing actually and I'm re I was recording this I uh, I didn't have game sounds I didn't really know what they had I thought maybe they might have been in something with like shock trains but obviously I was wrong and I was able to take them up got attacked here up jumping and uh, you know at this point I did do quite a bit of damage to this player there's a player actually behind me as well because I saw uh, some shots fired there so I just ran in did my damage uh, took this player out but because this is team deathmatch I knew there was going to be a player that spawned in and that's when I was vulnerable I only had 10,000 uh, health at that point and because time was running out only 50 seconds I decided to drop in with my strider and I uh, try to use my speed to my advantage, get to the other side as quickly as possible uh, in order to do any last bit of damage I could possibly fit into uh, this round. So I think I managed to get a little bit more damage here before the game ended. And there you go. I think they had uh, one more player on the other side there but actually no the second one dropped in but if you take a look at the time only nine seconds left so uh, not a lot of time and that pretty much sums it up 
So uh, let's take a look at the score at the end here so you can see how well I did. So 830,000 uh, damage, which is pretty decent, but you got to keep in mind that a lot of that damage I think actually came from that Spectre with Orkins. You know, I took out that Carnage and then I took out uh, that Lancelot, which was uh, quite a bit of damage. Um, if you factor all of that in, you know, you're really not really doing that much damage with the pattern with Arbalest. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.